I'm going to do a little uh, tutorial about how I would create a pattern pixel by pixel to put through image to track into the Brother 93940 or 950i. Uh, since I'm on a Mac, I'm using GIMP, which is very convenient. It's free to download and um, seems to have most of the functions that I need. So I'm uh, going to recreate at least part of the chart for this little uh, frolicking deer uh, motif. So to start with, I'm going to create a new um, file to make this on, and I'm going to make it, I didn't count the number of pixels here, but uh, just to start with, I'm going to make it 30 by 30. So I'll go to File and New and I'll make the image 30 pixels on a side. And you can see that's pretty tiny, um, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to make it bigger, easier to work with. And um, to make it easier to count where I'm putting the dots, I'm going to enable the grid. So show grid. And I'm going to bring up my toolbar so that you can see which tools I'm using as I do this. So I'm going to use the pencil tool and I'm going to make that one pixel in size. And I'm using the solid uh, pencil mark. Um, and I see this this graph to me looks reversed. I think that I would make the background white and then the pixels showing the deer in black. So um, I'm I'm really just starting. Uh, I'm just kind of guessing here. I'm not going to bother counting right now. But I'm going to start with this tail, and I'm going to put it about here. I hope I have enough space. Um, and then you know just go along and make each row and column as it looks in the pattern. And I'll probably either try to speed up or cut out a bunch of this as I go through and finish it so that you won't have to just sit and watch me do the whole thing. Okay, so that's done. Um, then I would just probably crop that to the image itself. And then I'll export it to my desktop as a PNG. And I'll take a look at my desktop, and there it is. If I bring it up, it'll open in the, my preview program or whatever viewer you might have. And again, you can see that it's super tiny, um, but that's the, that's the picture. Now, um, when you want to use that in image to track, you would open your program. I'm going to close these. Um, 
In this case, I would not have any stretch factor because the, uh, the pattern is exactly as I want it. I don't want the program to change it at all. It's going to be in two colors. So I'll select the image. That's the image. There it is. You can see the large representation of it and then the, the smaller viewer window, which if you had a much larger 200 stitch wide pattern, this obviously would be something bigger. Um, but there it is. It's uh, 21 by 25. And then um, once you get that into your knitting machine, you can um, do repetitions of it, do it as a mirror or whatever, or you could go back into your graphics program and add you know, trees and snowflakes and whatever else you want with it. But basically that's how I do it.